Since no one I'd like to welcome you to the virtual Yeah, yeah, So uh, you and I have been friends for a while now, and I'm quite honoured to have you here. I know I've been owing you a sit down forever. I know, I know. I'm Jeez. glad it finally happened. I'm glad. And for me, most importantly, is I want the world to know your story, which <laughs> hey. I I don't think we're gonna have enough time for today, mm -hmm. because uh, this is mostly an educational platform, and I want to speak mm -hmm. about the work that you're doing. So I'm going to focus more on my questions there, but I guess this is us breaking our podcast virginity, and the hope is that we'll build on from here. Hopefully. So that we can unpack and unravel your story fully. Yeah. You work in catering. Yeah, I cater. Um, Please, can you tell us about your business, who you service, the work you do? Ntaisi tombo, ntaisi ntlogo. Ntaisi ntlogo, ntaisi mkhodo. Ntaisi no ponchis. Um, so, um, I cater for everyone, basically. I cater for corporates, I cater for um, private functions, but my core business, so my focus is um, film and television. That's what has been my bread and butter since 2013. Yeah. So, that's basically who we service. Um, the film industry, commercials, um, movies, long form, yeah. Everything. Your business turns 10 years old next year. Congrats. It does. That's, that's, um, it, that's a huge feat. It actually has turned um, 10 years old because okay. I started in um, I started doing events. That one is just not for me. Unstable? Um, no, I screwed up. <laughs> I messed up big time. Please, please tell us. <laughs> so um, I, I, I was trying it out. I thought, Bulula, you can do it. Um, buy a couple of tables, chairs, vases, and whatnot. It's a lot of work. Yeah. And it was something that I, I couldn't sustain. Um, you know when you make mistakes? Like, I, 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 you know when you mess up and you mess up your friend's wedding? And that's basically hey, what son. happened to me. And I still, I still, I'm still yet to make up <laughs> for that. Jeez. But that's what happened. But I couldn't. I, I think I couldn't come back from that. And I was like, Yazuktini, let me do my last event. Let me do my last wedding, even if I don't make much of a profit from that. But yeah. let me just leave that industry with a bang. And I, I, I did a beautiful wedding again for friends of mine. And they were happy. But um, it was that thing, Yoguti, if you make a mistake and you wake up in the morning and you continuously feel bad about it, and I was like, mm. so I decided um, to try something else, something that I really, really loved. Kudos to your friends for supporting you, by the yeah, way. Yeah, they did. Um, yeah, they did. You're speaking events, you're speaking catering. In my head, it almost sounds like it's the same thing. What would be different? Because we event this food. It's Is it other aspects of events that you It's completely like? different. I'll tell you why. Um, so there's the setting up, like the aesthetics. Um, yeah. Ideiko. Ideiko. <laughs> Our perfect Ideiko. wedding. Ideiko. Yes. <laughs> so basically, that's what it is. I, I, I don't have the finishing touches for that. I don't have that, that eye. Okay. That thing. There's a friend of mine who does it very well. Yeah. Um, so we, we, we basically work together. And then Mina, I just deal with food. I will cook. Um, I won't do the setup and what, what, what. I'll mm. arrive and the setup is already done. I'll bring, I'll bring you amazing food. That's what so, I'll so do. you decided to focus on where you are master and to leave the other stuff that you weren't maybe as passionate about, maybe as good at? Yeah. Um, I'm one person that will try um, everything, yeah. you know. Um, I'll say at school I wasn't the best at netball, I wasn't the best at singing, I wasn't the best in academics, but I always tried. That's beautiful. I think that's one that's one thing about me and Wootsie, I will always try. So I tried with deco, it didn't work out. <laughs> tried selling bags, I didn't make much money. I tried you know, I tried beading. Jeez, you're I, a real hustler. You know, so I will I tried. And when I tried this, it it responded. Yeah. It, it, it spoke back to me. Food responded to me. I'm at cook for my colle uh, my colleagues. I used to work at the SABC. Okay. Um, I'd cook and they'd love my food. I'd host and everybody would know. But must figure out knowing this is all. So that's that's basically where it started and yeah and we are here now. So you mentioned the SABC. Is that how you got into film and TV catering? Um, that's that's where I got the exposure from. I okay. I'll, I'll, uh, yeah. Um, but actually, yes. Let me let, let me say that. But um, at the SABC, I was working as an editor. Um, and then oh, you weren't working in the canteen or anything. No. Uh -uh. Okay. Um, I'm a journalist by profession. Um, oh, wow. I just didn't uh, practice journalism. 
um, went straight to, I majored in print media and then I went straight to broadcast my, my, when I got my job. Um, did editing. It was rather a lonely job. My contract ended at the SABC. I didn't enjoy it much. Um, when my contract ended and then I, then SABC rehired me again um, like eight months later and then I started working also in post but now um, in quality control and program acceptance. Yeah. And then you kind of like you meet different people and you mm. hang out with different people and they were like, but you love this. Why won't I go in? And I didn't think, I didn't understand what they were saying at the time. Would you push this as a business? Do it, Ganja. And I, I really. The cooking. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> I'm not used to this. It makes me very uncomfortable. Please, can we pause? <laughs> What, the cameras? Yes. Shame. It doesn't feel like a conversation. It it's feels fine. like someone is looking at me. And it's fine. We usually speak about this and it's really weird. Okay. So the no, it's fine. No, it's fine. We can keep on. It's a conversation. Okay. Or I'll just talk to you. You can look at me and then look at them. And also another thing, um, I just don't know where to focus my eyes. You Mbuga can look at me. Mbuga, Mbuga, um, my brother spoke about these cameras. Maybe they are intimidating. Jeez. They weird. It's sure. like I knew, I knew Joel. But anyway, so that's cool. It's like someone is looking at you or is dropping at your conversation or whatever. But yeah. Thank nonetheless. you for the feedback though. <laughs> Why? No, it's it's important but for I us suppose, to know. No, but it's, it's someone else won't say it. But it's so cameras, we won't know why they nervous. It's cameras, or, that's what they basically do. That's, sure. that's what made me realize that I'll never be in broadcasting. I remember when we were interns, thing and they made us read a script, and I was like, I'll never do this thing. Sure. The thing is, Pen, like, she's used to being to behind the scenes, you know? Yeah, it it seems, yeah. yeah. I mean, so that's like, why. But anyway, but thank you, for, board, thank you for the feedback, though. <laughs> like, we really appreciate it. <laughs> so at the SABC, you're editing, uh, you're working in the back. Um, yeah. Your friends are saying, but Tukpega is your calling. Yes. So, okay, this is what happened at the SABC. There's a time where my canteen just stopped working. And well, budget? I don't know what was going on, yeah. but I think that's when Ninking as a Kalala hey, was at the SABC. But um, one of the things that happened, my canteens were not working at the time, and uh, people needed food. Yeah. And I was like, okay, let me. I mean, I started work at nine. Um, so I could work, wake up a little bit earlier, pre-pack meals for guys, and, 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 and that's what I did. I woke up half past five, get ready, I was six, start cooking. I had my Tupperwares, faggy rice, faggy veg, faggy nyama, and go to work, put it in my office, come in, do my work, and seven, and seven, around about half past 11, yim lawyer, microwave, and seven, and food to me, and then I dished up for my colleagues and we'd sell it, sell the plate for about 25 rand at the time. Um, got used to this. Um, I was pregnant. I was heavily pregnant at that oh, time. Oh, wow. And I'd be, I'd be doing this. Working, and, 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 pushing a side hustle. Yeah. Growing a baby, baking a baby, cooking ah, la, a baby. La, la, cooking a baby. Jeez. Oh. So, yeah, basically that's, that's, that's how it all sort of like started and and then after that, a friend of mine said, la, 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 there's a shoot that's happening and they're going to need a caterer. Why don't you just write a proposal? You lawyer, no Microsoft Word. Come uh, on. Sent through a proposal. Go see, this is what we do. And then that's, um, that's, that was my first catering gig. Yeah. But someone gave me a chance. Um, there's a Ubaba called Ram Ramadan Suleiman. Um, he's in the film industry, Nae. Um, and they were shooting something for young filmmakers and um that's that's the guy who actually gave me a chance he said okay i'll give you the your first gig and he gave me a decent budget because the budget that he gave me in 2014 is some is the same budget that some um film companies would offer me now even now it's Jeez. sad, but... Shout out, shout out to him, by the way. So he came... I only did breakfast and lunch, and he was like 110. I thought it was... 110 know? per head. Per head. But okay. you learn, because the, the, the gig is longer. Um, it's about two months, and then you are, you are able to bulk, um, to bulk by, and that's when I learned how to sort of like do my costing in yeah. a way. And yeah... Were you, were you never mentored? 
No. Shout out to Suleiman for giving you the leg up. He, he really But I mean, from there, up. my assumption is that in campus, someone mentored you or you worked under someone. Oh, no. Nobody. Ah, <laughs> nobody. Yeah. Nobody mentored me. My mom calls me, Twanele Nyok. You know, we, Yazala, and you just you have, have to, to find your own way. You have to find. That's basically what happened. I had to find my way, and it, 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 was, it wasn't easy. It was yeah. very difficult. Um, so I got my first gig with, uh, uh, I didn't even know what craft was. Yeah. Luckily, I didn't have to do craft, but I looked, and he was doing the, the security there, and then he would kind of like show me, okay, craft, although this is not how you do it, but this is what you do, and there was a friend of mine, um, we've become friends now, he does unit, Usbu, on our first day at, at set, so I'm going to call sheet. I don't know, Maktua or Fiango Six. I'm thinking we all rock up at six, yeah. we all set up, and no, there's there's call time for catering, call time for unit. So he, he, he called me and said, Okay, unit, catering, same time. Mm. I'm going to show you. This is what you need an urn. I didn't even have a, I don't put a kettle. You? I had a kettle of my day one. And Lelo Ketela Latela my baked beans. It was a mess. But the only thing that I knew was Oksalai, Ogutlawami, Kumnand. Yeah. That's it. Well, kudos for you for constantly jumping hurdles. No, I didn't stop. I mean, already, I can imagine how crazy it's been since, but you're telling me about failures in events, um, and letting down friends. <laughs> <laughs> security. La 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 and you still kept going. I kept going. You never I, just went back to work and said, you know what, this is too much. I'm stressed. I want to go back to work. I think I I I, I didn't know what lied ahead. Yeah. I didn't know um all the challenges that I'd face. This was just minimal. Also gangi bon so I profit got profit 20,000. I don't even make that much. I'm seven zini. Yeah. So I was, um, I think I was on maternity leave when I got that, that first gig, my first okay. gig. My son was, um, I think, Ulanga was two, three months um, old. That's crazy. And I'd wake up in the morning, breastfeed, um, your mbega, basically, a sitting room. Um, or a lounge, or whatever. So, you push everything. My dining room table became the pantry. Um, we put in a gas stove, la payana. Wake up in the morning, cook some bisugud, la, and come back. I used to drive. Um, I had a Hyundai Elantra. So, swagita fulla kona lapo. My shopping dish kona kona lapo. Spinch ayane, and we drive and get the job done. That's it. That's impressive. So, this is this is something that. Do you feel it came naturally to you? Cause I I think so. I okay. I consider myself that I've I've always been like an underdog, you know. Yeah. Um, so I've always had to fight for every for everything, like my position in places and 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 yeah. from when I was a young kid. So it. it I think it came natural. Go There are obstacles in life, and I'll just and overcome it. them. I'm pregnant, but I'll keep cooking. I'm on maternity leave, and push. And it's, you know, one it's of not those like things. you needed the money, or you were struggling. I, I wasn't struggling. Yeah. Um, I, I was okay. You know, we, we were getting by. Yeah. Just, but I didn't want to just get by. I didn't want to be average. I think. That's Do you have any idea what motivated you? Or what motivates you just internally? Because it seems like an internal thing that's just burning inside you. You know, sometimes, how do you do the angas panel? To be, to be, to be honest, mm. I, I really don't know. It's just that I don't want to be average. Yeah. This, this, I want to, I want to live mm. and in order to be able to do that, finally at yeah. some point. At some point. Some of your favorite um, TV shows, movies you've worked on, some of your favorite maybe private clients you've had? Um, my favorite client is my friend Omenzi Tabete. Um, uh, I know him since we were kids growing up Pongolo, and he's been giving me business for, for the longest of time. Yeah. 
um, he trusts that um, if he gives me business for his film and everything is going to go well. Um, he's fair in his dealings and I'm professional in the way that I deal with him, even though Sazan. Mm. Um, we've done Frank and Fearless together, with, which is a Leon Schuster film. It was a big deal for me. It was in 2016. I was still working at the SABC, so I'd wake up in the morning, we'd drive to Hekport to make sure Gutugutla is, is, is delivered on time. Hekport so, is far from the SABC. Yeah. So, um, so I live, I, I, I stay in Little Falls. So we leave Little Falls. Little to, Falls is in the West Rand. Yes. Okay. To go to West Dean because that's where I was renting um, in Lu, where we were cooking. Okay. West Dean is close to the SAPC. It's close to the okay. SAPC. So that's why I was able to. That's already to, a distance from Little Falls to yeah, West Dean. Yeah, so I go to, to West Dean. When we get to West Dean, um, Chekuguti is everything packed. We drive to Hegport. We get to Hegport, we serve breakfast. Um, because breakfast is served in about half past five to six, yeah. serve it up until that time. In half past seven, I have to leave Hegport because I need to make it to work at nine. Crazy. And then I drive to work. Already I'm dressed. I'm, I'm in my jeans and sneakers. The only thing that I need to change is probably take off my apron, put on a decent top for work, and then I'm being And yeah. Uh, and how was the on. adrenaline rush? Those mornings. It was exciting. If you're, if you're there at half past <laughs> five, I'm guessing Trump over four. It was, it was exciting. It was scary. It was stressful. I went through all sorts of emotions. I cried. I laughed. I, 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 I But you kept going. I kept going. I think, I mean, I didn't know any better. <laughs> yeah. I just kept on going. Yeah. I love the fact that you're mentioning your friend, Umenzi Tabet. Umenzi Tabet. Um, who so, it seems, as much as you guys are friends, but it was a professional relationship. It was a very professional relationship. He wasn't actually doing you favors way. because he knew you were good enough. No. Um, so the first gig that he gave me, um, there was a show for SABC One. Um, what was the name? Soap on a Rope. Okay. Um, so he gave me, he said, it's a lousy budget. And that's He was just honest. A, yes. Yeah. It's a lousy budget, but this is what we have. Yeah. We'll be able to make it work. Um, you want a I tissue? Did, yeah, my life, I was with my grandmother. So, um, a stitch in time says nine. Zonke lezos in dove. You're stingy and you like mize money. Yeah, I got sing. You manage every rand and cent. I'm, I'm, I'm able to just relax a bit. and. I'm going to go back to your favorite uh, oh, yes. workspaces. But I want to ask, since we're on the topic, money management in your business. Because mm -hmm. I know money, man money management kills a lot of businesses. Mm -hmm. And you're saying from a young age, your grand taught you, you must count every cent. How has that impacted you? Um, so, okay. My business model, Yona, this is where by both my grandmothers, um, my maternal grandmother and my paternal grandmother. My paternal grandmother ran a spaza shop. So the way that she would buy, buy as good, okay, Yes. So that's what, for, for many years, I reinvested into the business. Um, I, I never got funding until very late. Now, Connor, even the funding that I got, it wasn't like, mm. it would be like, okay, we're going to give you business for such a long time. Um, then this is the amount if we... We generate a profit of this nature. We'll be able to give you malaganje, but it hasn't been good. In people will come and fund me and say, "Noni, um, go start up this." No, you were you were managing your finances yourself. Did you get an accountant? I only got an accountant two years ago because I didn't believe that I could afford an accountant. Yeah. Um. So I just went by because being as good to profits and I need to sustain this for the longest of time. And, 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 but also, um, I, I, I'm not flashy. I'm not yeah. a flashy person. So it wasn't about the big life and, 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 and mm -hmm. I knew this was for my family and yeah. In retrospect, you're saying, uh, well, you're saying that you thought an account, you couldn't afford an accountant. Yeah. In retrospect, do you think that was a misconception? I, I, I think it was because there are a lot of things that I could have also avoided yeah. um, had I gotten an accountant on time. 
Yeah. Um, things like understanding taxes and returns and VAT registrations and all these technical things that nobody teaches you about. Of so had I gotten an accountant sooner or earlier, mm. um, there, there are many things that I could have avoided. You said one of your favorite shows, one of your favorite movies was uh, Leon Schuster, Egbert. Yes. You spoke about soap on a <laughs> rope. So um, my friend Domenzi gave me that gig. Um, my friend Domenzi gave me that gig. Um, yeah. his, my f our first gig um, that we did together was soap on a rope. He told me, Guti, the budget is not the greatest. Um, mm. Please, born Guti in Zanjani. Um, we'll pay for your fuel. We'll, we'll pay for the car that you're going to be using. And this is what we are giving you. Please make it work. And I made it work and I delivered. Mm. Um, so he confessed to me, go to go food tasting, eh, manganese, good la wak wak beta la paya. what do you mean? <laughs> so, like, you just brought us small portions. Guess, it was just for tasting. You're supposed yes. to taste. But, eh, I wasn't convinced. But I knew your food and I knew what you could deliver. Yeah. But we didn't, you didn't convince these people. But I still vouched for you because I knew that you would be able to deliver. That's important. And I delivered, and that's when I met some. I, I made contacts, and um, I got a booking from there. Usonia um, Mbele um, booked me a couple of times after that. But on set, it seemed like we were not getting along because I was like, "Hey, well, these people are so difficult." Yeah. But afterwards, they were like, "Your food is amazing, and we'd like to actually book you for this." And I was like, oh, okay, it helps to be very pro professional, even though one would I wouldn't see my but just being professional at all times. And um, when our second gig together with Umenzi was the one um, in Hickport, it was very challenging because of the distance. Mm. I had never done a movie. Yeah. Um, I No one has taught me, but this is how you cater for film. I, I had to always research, how do I... Um, cost better? How do I do this? How do... I, I just always uh, had to try and figure things out. So, yeah. yeah. Any other shows that have stood out? Any shows that we might know that are on oh, air now? Oh, uh, there's a lot um, that, that I've done. I've worked with Gomora. I'm currently working with The Estate. I've done um, the Netflix um, uh, Puma Munch Justice Served. Yeah. Um, with Fumla Tandala? Yes, okay. we, did, we did that one. And um, there's a, a, another one that's, um, that just came out, The Brave Ones, um, now on the 16th. Yeah. And my, that was my very first Netflix, The Brave Ones. It was crazy. I cried. <laughs> 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 yeah, but, um, Were they just very technical? Were they it, harsh it, in feedback? It was... The, 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 the feedback was harsh. Yeah. Um, it, 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 yo, it was crazy. The, the the location moves, the number of people, yeah. um, the Cape Town crew that I had to that I had to deal with. It, they're different to the Joburg crew. The Joburg yeah. crew generally does um, like the long form um, about generations, nani nani, you yeah. know those kind of. Um, um, I'm a series that I'm are just series. ongoing. Yes. I'm a soap. So the 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 nature of the environment is like more relaxed. We're in here for the long for the yes. long run. Cape Town, yo, those yeah. people, uh, yo, yo, baraf, yeah, you know. Um, but I learned. Now I know how to handle them. Now I can. I believe I can go to Cape Town and I'll be able to, to 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 run the business there. Do you think they helped you step up? Do you think they you're did. more professional with the harshness? They did. They <laughs> helped me ste step up. Um, now I can handle even bad, bad feedback. Yeah. Because um, sometimes on, on set, um, sometimes you do feel like when you're a service provider, mm. um, yeah. you know, you're not, you're not crew, you're not cast, you're not, you're here to service them. Yeah. And at the same time, finally, was good, okay, I need to be a professional um, at, 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 at by all means. Yeah. And then another another thing is just managing your, your staff members. You're um, managing human beings. No, but on set. But less of stress of managing human I beings. I know. Um, I'm a celebrity, obviously. You're cheating. <laughs> you need to tell them, okay, you're going to be working with them every single day. Yeah. 
relax. It's okay. Uso mm. You know, someone say first day on set, we are figure penwelly. Then I go go say I'm Yeah, bo. Yes. And um, but at the same time, I'm going to say I'm going to But I need to prepare them. Go to okay. These are the kind of people. And also, my say pagil. You'll have a different um. Routine. Yeah. You know, um, they won't be the your <laughs> superheroes. Your superhero anymore because now you'll get to know them. You'll get to know them when they're upset. You'll get to know mm. them when they're happy. You'll get to know them yeah. when they don't want to talk to you. And don't take it personally. On, on, on any other day, um, you know, yeah. that's how you relate to people. You mentioned your maternal and paternal grandmothers. Yeah. The one you mentioned is Paza. Uh, I wanted to ask you if you ever worked as Paza, and then I don't think you got to speak to the about the other grandmother. Um, my maternal grandmother raised me for six years. Yeah. Um, so, being I is so she sold in bath. Okay. So she was a new clothes second hand. She, she was a seamstress. Okay. Yes, it's So all these things that Amashi Dinani Nani, all these things is in the, and then she had um the, she had a clothing line back in hey, the day. Come on, Makoko. <laughs> come on. So she had a clothing line back then and most of the clothes that we wore growing up Tina was going back like a cock. So Jeez, that's nice. Best to Ngela. Okula and I, big tracksuit that you'd wear for like three years. And uh, yeah, so I think that's where, that's where I learned it from. from and my being grandmother. enterprising and balancing yes. work and a side hustle, I guess. So that's, that, that, those are the people that I basically looked up to. Yeah. Uh, my paternal grandmother, who's still, who's still alive in Namanje, um, I ran that business. Um, this puzzle shop. Yes, she ran the, the this puzzle shop. She understood um a target audience, yeah, or a target market, yeah, without a marketing degree or whatever. So we come from a Pongolo and I'm going to town Sekden. It's about forty, fifty kilometers mm. from where we stay. And what she would do, um, she would buy a packet of soup. Yes. And she would sell it in a teaspoon, twenty cent a teaspoon. And oh wow, I don't, I don't think I've seen that now. Yeah, that's. For example, that you can't you can't afford the cooking oil, the potlele. Yes. And so tell it like that. So tell it. We paraffin oil is out there, so we need your cordons. So that's innovative. That's what. That's she, enterprising. That's what she would do, and um, even my colleagues, Abandu. Why ever nepo gula ke lo mu ye na ever nepo gata hai man lo mo ngik pali le la na so I got to understand that record keeping good okay it doesn't have to be in a fancy, computer or software. fancy or whatever but just do it and just do it right. So Please explain that again. Ukokwa could have a book. So and the clients would also have a book yes, that they keep. That they keep. So That's more people would have some pieces. Uh, non keeping what's in nobody. Yes, non keeping what is in nobody. So I keep her my pieces and then and then she would write um, sixteen rand for uh, e e tray my pieces na la po na we apal. And then if you came and you paid five rand, then we apal ugoti minus five rand even on your book kupalu minus five rand. So masen kaba ugoti no, but you owe me so much. Just like let's both take Look at out the books. Our, yes, and let the books balance. So yeah. So that's basically, I, I learned from, that's where I got the basics of running my business from. And that's how I ran my business for the longest of time, without an accountant, without mm. any external assistance and all of that. I think it was those things, Engai um, Funda, back then, um, that just stuck yeah, with me. That's even, beautiful. Even though I didn't know what he, Nyafunda at the time, mm. but those are the things that I ended up, um, doing. Are they aware of Are they aware of your success? I know you said one is still alive. Did yeah. they ever get to see your success? Your oh, story. Oh yes, both of them um, did. Um, I have a very very soft spot for my maternal grandmother even now. Um, yes, it's I'm cutting onions. I'm cutting onions. It's fine. 
We love the onions. <laughs> we love so, the onions. Um, so I, I have a very soft spot. Why? Um, I remember when I got my first gig and I told her, "Nito koko ni asebenza gota singa pega on the side on the side," and she was very excited. Um, she was very excited for me. So when I told her that I got a second gig, um, this was now a gig. Uh, I think it was Generations because my, my I think it was the third one. Nito koko singa kita rishela for Generations man. Like I don't like the cell phone. You can't hang my You know, but it's one of those things that she was teaching me. Was it at some point finally when I was saying with whatever yes. that you with whatever that you have, yes. you mustn't always just want, 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 want. You know, at some point you need to relax and enjoy the fruits of your labor without you chasing know, and chasing being greedy. And you must, you know, she was at that time. I only had um, one. My first, my first born. I was like, "Uzo zala nini? When are you gonna have children if you're busy?" It's going to find a lot of zala. What is no kusia zala? Kusia zala. You know, it was those are the conversations that I I had with her, and I really, really um, cherish and and yeah. My paternal grandmother um, would sit and have conversations. I say, "Yembela mangani," and then she. I beg again. You know, it's 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 these expressions, and it's like. Vela vela mda namu ya ba pege la bonke la band and then avuli TV na la bu ya baz you know um, those are the things um, that that really are heartwarming and you see Uguti I I wonder if they understand mm. Uguti it's it's their doing and uh, it's this DNA that flows lang apakati. Um, that made this possible. It's their strength. It's it's seeing them each and every day wake up and and work and. Lomunya go koko wayono nachi and she was a little bit spoiled. My maternal <laughs> grandmother. So she she's the kind that would be dropped off at work and picked up and 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 the other one very strong and she did things. She would. Why is that? Is all is all stock and like goli? They would come. I say, oh, miss, but go give butter zami lo. Come on. Ang fundi lenje, but you know it was those kind of things. You yeah. know, go to no manga ba uba ni ukupi um unga unga zbugele pants. It's such a beautiful story, and I think it's going to be so educational for everyone because a lot of people don't grow up with grandparents. Mm. They don't grow up with parents, and. A lot of them don't have the analytical eye that you had to actually see and learn without necessarily being taught directly and then implemented into your life. Um, I get emotional every time I see uh, your company, Koshinda Caterers, every time, because we watch shows, but we don't look at the credits. Mm. And I see your name there. I saw with Omo Hale being interviewed. Mm. Your name was there. Um, you're literally feeding the stars and the superheroes of this nation. and. I, I think Ukok was trying to emphasize that in saying this is actually a big deal. Mm. It, you are, you are it, it feeding is. them. You are basically their, their <laughs> mother on set saying, and that's a huge honor and a privilege. And I just want to say we're thankful very much for the work that you do. Thank you. In terms of competition, we sometimes worry. Normally, you see a successful businesswoman and we think she's fronting for some guy. Um, how bad is the competition? In the catering space, specifically, let's say maybe in Johannesburg. I think the competition is um, is there. Yeah. Um, it's, it's 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 a lot, but I think there's. I mean, there's are there monopolies? Are there any people that are dominating the industry that make it difficult for others? I wouldn't say monopolies per se. Um, it's just that the 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 budgets sometimes keep us from growing. Okay. Um, you asked to go to a competition in Jan. I think the pie is big enough for all of us. There okay. are lots of productions. There are many people that are that are that are shooting. Um, the same way that I came up from nowhere and nobody didn't know Kushinda. And uh, I think there's another company that can come up the same way mm. um, in Jingam. And um, I'm working into exiting the space. Um, catering. Yes, the catering space. But okay. teaching, um, um, because right now I've, I've applied for accreditation, very close to getting my accreditation. 
so that I can actually open um, a culinary school so that I can actually teach some of um, the things that I have learned, um, take people through my experiences and actually hold people by the hand mm. as well um, at the upcoming businesses and stuff like that. And yeah. That's beautiful. People that so, are interested can contact your website. Yes. Your people social that media. Are in, interested in me can, uh, interested in, 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 in all of this, mm. <laughs> can actually contact me on, um, you can inbox me on my Instagram at Kushinda Caterers. You can check out our website. And yeah, you can email us. You'll get all the information on our website and on our um, Instagram page. Are you currently being mentored? Um, I asked this because you're saying you're exiting. I, I have an idea of how much your business makes, and I don't know if you're comfortable even speaking about the monies, but are you being mentored? Um, why are you looking to get out instead of maybe getting bigger and bigger? I'm looking at mentoring um, other Others. upcoming businesses. And it will also, I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm doing charity. Yeah. It is going to bring money into into my business. Yeah. So it's also growth for me. It's not like just exiting and leaving the space, but it's saying, listen, I'm opening I'm opening up also the the industry for other people. Sure. And also showing them this is how it's done. Also I'm very passionate about black business. Mm. Um the way that we are viewed is very sad. And when you walk into spaces where someone just looks at you and they they know that you're going to fail and and it and it's such a sweet victory when you when it's like I could like um, come on. I, I, I ain't a lot long. Sure. So and that's what I want for other black businesses and other upcoming black businesses, mm. you know. I don't want us to be labeled as black business. I just want as when you look at me, just look at me as a businesswoman, not some panelungzuele, oh she's a black female in business. No. I'm in business. I'm a business person. And that's Thank you it. so much. I wish you nothing but great success. I'm Thank hoping we so can much. unpack more of your story that I know. I'm hoping people can visit your premises and be shocked because it's <laughs> Yakuluma Manje, you're slaying, but they don't actually know the operation behind yeah. what you're doing and the expansion that's still coming. I'm hoping to be part of that story, you even if it's just documenting are. and eating your food, <laughs> uh, maybe meeting celebrities. Oh, wow. I need to say, we're my group. But so no, um, thank you for having me. Um, it was really, it was really be lovely being here. Hey, ask our Joel the camera pin well. You have to. <laughs> we need you guys to tell the stories because not enough people are telling our stories. Just as South Africans, as young black South Africans, yeah. and I think for you, obviously as a female, it becomes even more powerful. And we need more young girls to not just focus on chasing blessers, but on understanding that there's value in hard work, and you don't have to front. You don't have to live below some man. You can be your own heavyweight. Mm. I was going to ask about your grandfathers and your father, but I didn't want to because I want mm. this to be a moment. All Koko were doing the most and no, I did the most. the most. So we don't even need to speak about men mm. right now. Thank you Thank so much. You. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day and we'll chat soon. Will do. Thank you.